Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to another War and Order video. Thank you, Common Games, for sponsoring today's video and the channel. Guys, today we'll be looking at the brand new uh, artifact that has been added to the game, the Ice Crown. And if you guys have not played the game yet, there will be a download link in the description and comments of today's video. I wanted to talk about this new Ice Crown artifact. There is a pack currently in store and also there was an event going on. I will be purchasing this pack right now for you guys to see. And uh, we will explore on how this new artifact affects your account whether you purchase it or slowly acquire it through events so there we go i did unlock the artifact i did not purchase the whole thing uh, the whole of the packs because it was starting to get expensive i did have some credits in there for me to buy it but there we go the ice crown will be now fusible with 20 fragments it's not that hard to get 20 fragments especially if you follow the events and you keep on track with the daily requirements for those events uh, which we will have probably in the future uh, more and more for those to pick up uh, this new artifact and also from conjuring so let's have a look at this look at how beautiful this now looks the ice crown is now acquired on the account i want to go over the stats and how this will affect my account obviously artifacts like these will be affecting your account uh, when you have them stronger and stronger but that is very difficult to acquire especially if you're somebody who's a free-to-play or a low spender so having that in mind uh, always consider that guys as as a new player maybe or as even a mid player uh, you'll be able to get that um so let's have a look at the stats so uh, the ice crown i've got a level one out of 50 was made using a mysterious metal from the extreme cold resembling ice and iron everything is pale blue light shines upon which will be confined to ice so it gives me a thousand four hundred ten uh, power and it gives infantry and cavalry an hp boost with unique abilities as you get this going to higher stars so that is where it becomes interesting so let's go over these new stats uh, that we'll be acquiring so at two stars enemy troops get their attack reduced by 5.8 percent that can be actually huge if you consider it two stars rank one enemy troops reduction becomes to 6.9 percent then a three star increase the attack of archers and mages that is so good but so difficult to get i can't imagine enemy troops attack reduction 6.9 percent goes to 8.1 then rank two your attack of archers goes to 12.5 that's okay the four star though enemy troops hp reduction by almost 10 percent and then as you try and take it all the way to five stars that's when things become even more interesting making your angels tankier with almost 15 percent higher health and then as you boost it up trying to get it to six star your troops overall damage gets boosted by 11 percent. but that is the absolute whale mode i wouldn't imagine uh, how long that's gonna take me uh, to get that going so if i can fortify the base stats with some of the xp items that i have this will actually boost this up to make it a little bit stronger so let's do a one-time upgrade Let's see what level I can take it. No, I don't want to purchase that. Or do I actually? So I boost now the power by 2,658 and the cavalry HP boost to 8.7. So that is actually pretty cool so far in terms of the damage that we have. So this, in order for me to get it to the next star, I need 61 fragments, which is going to take me so, so long to, to get or through conjuring. So these are the two ways currently to get it or through events which we currently had we had the, the one event that was going on for some fragments not a crazy amount of fragments don't think of it like that not a crazy amount of fragments but some fragments were available so the artifact skill so the um, evolution upgrade makes the ice armor so when the battle starts the ice magic creates the ice armor and protects your infantry and cavalry increasing their hp by six percent and reducing damage taken by 4.8 percent so in order to evolve this your current artifact uh, has to be level 20 and three star or higher quality can't be increased so have that in mind and um this is basically the new artifact that was added to the game with the update the update also introduced an additional uh slot to the array if i remember correctly and now uh, i can actually consider uh replacing the emperor's crown because i cannot unlock another slot here i need to get this going to the level six which is gonna take me some time so i will be replacing this for for replacing my monster attack speed so let me do that quick replacement there we go equipped and now my infantry and cavalry hp boost has been uh, applied making my my army that much stronger so i can actually do this as well get some upgrades going to my crown array and slowly and but surely i should be able to do that so unfortunately unfortunately one of the ways to acquire these artifacts is through the mystic conjure this is very difficult to get and i would suggest that all players just wait out until you have 90 of these before you do a conjuring because 
not only it's very very random on how you pick these up but also this costs you basically less when you conjure 90 at one time rather than doing 10 times here with the one time conjure so it's pretty obvious pretty self-explanatory if you think about it and uh, let me see if i have any uh in my in my inventory so maybe i can purchase this or if i do purchase this and do desired artifact um i think do am i able to actually select that one no so then i guess i'll be picking the eye of horus or the athena's ages i think the athena's ages is pretty nice because it does have a skill that helps you at the start of the battle so this could be nice if i select this one to pick up some fragments for here i'm just looking for the coins basically so that's gonna be the purchase that i'll be doing uh yeah good good amount of coins relatively low price so that's where that's where we're stopping um 9.99 actually would have been nice for this so how many coins do i now have 74 i think i should have some in the, in the inventory the silver the silver upgrades unfortunately do not give you any of the legendary ones uh the legendary artifacts so it is kind of a trade-off if you think about it like that look at this and now i'm able to acquire some more of those i'm at 74 i just need 16 to actually finish uh and, and be able to do some more conjuring so okay so i can actually pick up some gold coins here so i will buy hmm i can actually pick up 20 i needed 20 right so I could pick up 100 i don't need 100 i'll just do i'll just do the 20 for now so let's do some conjuring and see like what are the odds for us to even pick up um like a fragment for the ice crown through this one i think it's gonna be very difficult but let's let's just try it out so we get heavenly spear fire demons crown bryonac fragment and athena's ages fragment actually this is one of the ones i was looking for we got some solid fragments it's just not for the one i was looking for so it will take lots of time to actually pick that one up um to pick the ice crown so it's not, it's, we're not in a rush at all. I don't think we're in a rush for this one to, to to be slowly picking that up one up. So let me go and pick up this one up. Athena's fragments. Let's do another refresh. More Athena's fragments. Is this ever gonna show up here? Actually, buy two two coins here. Uh, I wonder. Ooh. Buy even more of those there. Some Athena's fragments there. Keep on going even more of those there let's do another refresh 50 gems actually is pretty high and then let's see can even buy more of those eye of horrors golden armor so <laughs> you can really go heavy on this even if you bought all the packs i mean how heavy can you go to, to get the whole thing unlocked yeah i don't see it here it's gonna take me so long to actually pick it up I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with having this as, as you know, a slow way of acquiring um, such an artifact. So I'm totally fine with it, I guess. I'm totally fine with it. I'm not going to rush it even more. Let's do a final refresh here. That was a bit much actually doing all these refreshes, but I just wanted to see how, how far I would take that. So how much conjuring could I do there? I can actually pick up 70 more. Of those using gems maybe i should do that and then try another conjuring all right let's do that let's let's try another conjuring so benefit shop go here let's just buy the whole thing that was a lot of gems but i just wanted i don't do this i don't like the conjuring this is so much rng so much luck based so i will do this now and see whether we pick up a fragment or not oh what is this i've never seen an animation before is this just extreme luck of picking just you know an artifact from this one so yeah it's it's a joy use joy joy use all right it's it's pretty cool that you pick that one up but i picked up fragments for the others a thunderbolt crown fragment and no fragments for the crown yeah it's just gonna be lots of luck required let's claim this pack get 40 gold coins gonna save these maybe for another video that was guys the video for today introducing the new ice crown going over its features and also since i now have acquired it on the account 
uh let me just show you uh on on the importance of actually growing your artifacts these are the the, the biggest way to make your account more powerful they just give you so much more power to the account slowly leveling these up as well and the different effects that they provide to the account have that in mind when you're upgrading those guys if you have not tried the game out please try out the link down below in the description and comments of today's video thank you all for watching subscribe if you haven't already thank you kamal games for sponsoring today's video and the channel i'll see you guys in the next one see ya